Hey guys, welcome back to our final Mega Pokemon Construct Kit um, from Pokemon Asia. This is the last one I can get my hands on. So, it's 21 pieces. Whereas the last one we did was Bulbasaur, and it was 30 plus. So, we'll have a quick open up of this and see if uh, this one is going to be just as unique as uh, Bulbasaur was. I'm presuming most of this is going to be bodywork. So I'm presuming the way this set of six worked was on the basis of um, Squirtle, Charmander and Bulbasaur being the first ones you could pick in the original Pokemon game. Uh, Jigglypuff <coughs> was intended to really be the icon of Pokemon. Look, cheek, she really took that over. Uh, and Meowth is obviously popular because of Team Rocket. But that's my sort of guess at why D6 in particular were more available. I suppose there was others along the way. Um, but I'm glad just to be able to get hold of D6 if I'm honest. Because we love doing blocks on the channel and we love Pokemon. Ooh, Tony Tail Cap. So, um, just looking at the instructions, this is going to be a little bit different. So, the first one I'm going to have to sort of work my way around. So, we'll start with the back of Judy Puff's head. And wedge this block. So it looks like it's a normal Lego block, but it's only actually got a hole on one side, which is a bit unique. Um, I really have to make sure I don't lose any of these pieces because um, they are going to be hard to replace. So, Jiggly Puff's arms are literally. These little bullets, I thought it was uh, something else, but it's actually this and this little cap. They do is that with Julie Puff arms. So now I've put that in, I've literally got to turn it this way. Um, and these go at the sides. Here apparently, like so. And then another one of these ones with a hole. Comes in here. So I'm sure this is all gonna make sense in a moment. So we're leaving that and you give him some legs now. Um, right. So what's quite funny is the uh, feet and the ears are identical. So the only way to tell the difference is the ears have literally got the bit of paint in and the feet haven't. It, but they're made up of exactly the same parts. Um, so the instructions is literally like, no, no, not the ones with the little marks. Use the ones without, please. Which is quite helpful, especially, uh, you know, being a lot of Lego pieces are the same. It's repurposed. There we go. So we've got some feet now. So, our feet are just clipping this uh, little hole here, like that, so as suspected, it is all going to be pretty much self-contained. So the ears are going onto this block here, 
and I am presuming they are going to go into these um, armholes. So I'm trying not to use instructions too much so I can work it out myself. I feel experimentation is the key. Hmm. That one was a bit tight compared to the other one. So you can see it's starting to take shape now. So, I'm just wondering what these red blocks are for. Sorry, guys, I'm just stopping. Make sure I've not missed anything out. But it turns out that is just for. Um, a stand to help him stand up so it's literally two stages to go so Judy Puff face is on now and the hair goes in that little hole we made on the first piece like that so all these are literally for just to stabilize the weight um this is the only one with this sort of setup we'll pop him on here so with this being the final video of my series, it's only fair we bring in the other sets. So you can have a look at them all together. Group photo. There we go guys. So that is the six I've managed to get hold of so far. Um, I have enjoyed them. Uh, but we're on to more traditional lego -y type projects now. So guys, until next time, stay safe, keep gaming. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini-series. And uh, we'll catch you again soon. Goodbye.